Ready, go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unam Dikano deeply worried about other detainees in custody, including Aousas, Fulanis, I publicly does lawyer reviews. Unam Dikano deeply worried about other detainees in custody, including Aousas, Fulanis, I publicly does lawyer reviews. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The leader of the legal team for the detained leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Ipol, Ifiai Ejiofola said his clients, Onam Dikano expressed confidence and optimism that he would get victory and justice with the level of progress he made so far. On the appeals filed before the court to challenge his arrest and detention. He said his client is optimistic and focused despite his persecution by the Nigerian government. A GEO4 disclosed this in a statement on Thursday in Abuja after a written visit to the IPOB leader. He said his clients commended those steering the ship of the struggle for liberation and justice on his behalf, while urging his supporters to give them the maximum cooperation needed for maximum output. He said, Kanu has been worried about the fate for political detainees in Nigeria. The statement read in part, the court ordered written visits to our indefatigable client Onyedu Mazi Onamde Kanu, was conducted at the DSS Department of State Services headquarters Abuja where Oyedul is being held in solitary confinement for over 13 months now. In line with the new guideline introduced by the DSS, Halbeod still in flagrant violation of the court's guideline. Written visits to Oyedul are still being conducted separately with time apportioned for each person. I first met with Onyedoland, the opportunity afforded an exclusive art to art discussion with him. I briefed him on the status of all the filings in our appeal coming up on October 11, 2022, for definite hearing. Onyedo was also informed that all court processes are now before the Court of Appeal. Setting a fatal stage for an overripe legal firework on that day. However, further details on the subject remain private, but we can assure you all that it, it will be an interesting argument come October 11, 2022. Onyedu was also briefed on the other pending court actions affecting Umuchinike still being out in various detention facilities across Nigeria. He was satisfied with the level of progress in each of the individual cases. Onyedu can never change. Even in solitary confinement, he is deeply worried about the fate of other detainees. 
including those of different ethnic extractions, who are mainly Aousas, Fulanis, and others presently languishing in custody. Instructions were equally taken in that regard, and we are going to swing into serious legal actions to ensure that those concerned regain their freedom. The leader of the legal team for the detained leader of the indigenous people of the Afra, IPOP, Ifiayi Ejofola said his client Unambikano expressed confidence and optimism that he would get victory and justice with the level of progress made so far on the appeals filed before the courts to challenge his arrest and detention. He said his client is optimistic and focused despite his persecution by the Nigerian government. A GO4 disclosed these in a statement on Thursday in Abuja after a routine visit in the IPOB leader. He said his, he said his client commended those steering the ship of the struggle for liberation and justice on his behalf, while urging his supporters to give them the maximum cooperation needed for maximum output. He said, Kano has been worried about the fate of political detainees in Nigeria. The statement read in part, the court ordered written visits to our indefatigable client. Onyedu Mazi Unambikano was conducted at the DSS, Department of State Services Headquarters, Abuja, where Onyedu is being held in solitary confinement for over 30 months now. In line with the new guideline introduced by the DSS, albeit still in flagrant violation of the court's guideline, Written visits to Oyedul have still been conducted separately with time apportioned for each person. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned. And do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view.